What's up, everybody? White Bathroom Guy from County Dale with the uh, August 2015 South Florida Fishing Report. Freshwater covering Palm Beach, Broward, Miami Dade counties. Uh, although most of my fishing is in Dade and Broward, uh, I will give you some pointers. That's what's been working for me, as you see in my videos, catching peacock bass, largemouth bass. And what uh, I've been using and talking to other fishermen down here in South Florida on their uh, guides and getting uh, some information from them as well. As always, shiners, live shiners, work the best for either largemouth bass or peacock bass. As you can see in my videos, I caught that big six and a half pound peacock bass a few weeks ago in Miami Dade County on a live uh, shiner. Also, <clears throat> for artificial baits, my go to, cannot lose with this, is a Zoom U Vibe Speedworm Watermelon with Red. Okay, in my videos, I have at least 20 or 30 videos on here. I'm catching bass left and right, largemouth bass, left and right with these. They're on sale at Walmart, you can get them for uh, $3 and change. Uh, Bass Pro Shops has them. I think they run around four dollars and change. So I strongly recommend these zooms. Also, I've been catching a lot of uh, largemouth bass in lakes in Broward County. I won't disclose locations because then everybody's going to be there fishing while I'm trying to fish it. So the watermen red, red and black. The uh, KVD Perfect Plastic Fluke. These work great. I don't know how many bass I've caught in Broward County. For some reason, these work better in Broward. So if you're in Broward County, use these. The Fluke Perfect Plastics. Again, you can get these at Walmart or Bass Pro Shops. I don't know about Dick's Sporting Goods or not if they have them, but those are the two main places I shop for my uh, artificial stuff. Also, Topwater. The frog, a live target. The other one got all tore up. This one, I brought just the other day at uh, Bass Pro Shops. What's up, Anthony, the manager? Talk to uh, Anthony, the manager down at the uh, Miami or Sweetwater Doral area. Bass Pro Shop, great guy down there. He was very knowledgeable on fishing supplies. So if you're in the Miami area, stop by the Bass Pro Shops. Uh, Anthony is the uh, manager. In the fishing department. Uh, peacock bass, top water, the X wrap slash bait in this color. You know, it's hard to see, but this is actually white on the bottom. It's got a neon yellow like a chartreuse here, and then orange on top with a rooster tail. On the top, a lot of action with the peacock bass, especially by the airport lakes. Folks, do not fish on the grounds of the airport lakes. Do not fish at the Burger King on their property. If you're in a boat, they can't tell you nothing. But if you're fishing there on a lawn at one of the buildings, security is going to kick you out. So please don't fish there. If you have a boat access with a boat ramp, to fish airport lakes. But do not fish from the bank. They will kick you out. Also, another great top water is the popper by Wapala. Got a little Mouth there, chartreuse color, the green and uh, orange rooster tail, great for topwater peacock bass in the canals or lakes in South Florida. I'm glad the, the peacocks are reviving up in Palm Beach County. I've talked to some friends that live up in up there in Boca Raton and, and uh, different areas in West Palm. I'm glad to see the peacocks are rebounding up there. Just five years ago, we had that big cold front that killed off a lot of peacocks down here. Also, this is good if you bite scene. You can see my other videos, a couple of videos before. I was fishing in Miami Dade County in a canal. When you sight scene, you see peacock bass. There's a rattle trap. Usually, that usually ticks them off and bothers them when the when along the banks. Just keep hitting it in front of them, they'll tear it up. Rattle traps and get these again. Bass Pro Shops or um, Walmart. Largemouth bass. Wapala. 
These are the broken back, black, and silver. I have the most uh, action on. You can use the, the broken back, or you can use the whole one. I also have the whole one in my car. <clears throat> Some more largemouth bass. This little popper right here, by heading. These are great for smaller. I've caught in like half pound and up to two and a half pound bass in the Everglades on these. Especially in the morning time when the water is just calm, tear them up. Also, another for largemouth bass, the Super Salt Plus <clears throat> uh, by Zoom, the June Bug Red worms, the June Bug Red. Again, Bass Pro Shops or Walmart. This is great for largemouth bass in South Florida. Also, here, another popper for the peacocks by Rapala. This thing is <laughs> caught in so many peacock bass, especially in the morning time in Miami Dade County. What else? I don't have it here in my tackle box, but uh, little jigs, dark color, like black and blue. With a little uh, grub on the end, great for pitching. You can check out the videos <clears throat> on in uh, Miami Dade County. You can see some of the guys using them. Uh, so shout out to Captain Solo. Please subscribe to him. Very knowledgeable. Has good videos on snook, tarpon, peacock bass, largemouth bass, snakeheads, bull shark, uh, Jack Ravel, saltwater freshwater coach, everything down in South Florida. Good fisherman. Um, Paul Pro, Paulie Pro, he's great. He's a peacock master down here in Dade County, even though I got his record. Uh, very knowledgeable. That's Polly Pro. He's under my subscription. You'll see him. Captain Solo, same as well. Uh, Captain Shane, can't say enough about him. He's a legend down here as well. Um, also, uh, Anthony at that Pro Shops. Manager down there in Miami. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Still waiting for you to put the picture on Bass Pro Shops. That'd be six and a half pound peacock bass. Uh, again, folks, I don't mind helping people, but <clears throat> some of y'all know where my spots are by visually seeing where I'm fishing and y'all probably been there, but I don't like to really share my spots. Now, I can give you ideas. This usually fish any canal as long as it's accessible and you're allowed to fish there and it doesn't say no trespassing. Do not break the law. Do not break somebody's, you know, personal property to go fishing. Uh, lakes, same thing. Make sure it's accessible. You're allowed to fish there. Also, another important thing is to always have your fish wash, uh, your fishing license. So always have your fishing license with you. FWC will check. It's only seventeen dollars. $4 for the card, so it's $21. Also have the saltwater license here. Always have it with you. Okay? Don't be cheap. Just pay for the license. You can go online, either myflorida.com or fwc.com, or you can go to Best Pro Shops, or a lot of your local bait shops will sell you one. $17 for the freshwater. Pay it. Okay, if you want the card like I have, it's four dollars extra. I catch and release all my fish. I do not keep nothing. I do not give it to anybody. Some videos you don't see me putting back in the water, but God's honest truth, I put everything back in the water. Even the six half pound peacock bass. You saw in one of my videos a three and a half pound peacock bass I put in the water. So catch and release so somebody else can catch them. Okay? If you hook onto a snook, I hooked on a snook the other day, put them back. You're only allowed one if you have a permit on your on your saltwater fishing license. Only one, and it can only be, uh, it's got to be a uh, uh, a certain amount of uh, inches. I believe it's uh, 35 inches. And uh, but I release everything. I don't keep nothing. Everything goes back in water. Whether it's snapper, grouper, largemouth bass, peacock bass, whatever. Catch and release. So somebody else can catch those fish. 
And if you see any poachers, call FWC right away so we can get rid of these poachers down here. So thank you for watching. August 2, 2015, Freshwater Fishing Report, South Florida, Dade County Dale, White Bathroom Guy. Any questions, hit me up.